it's story time and today everything is going to be about food 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 <sighs> i'm gonna get so excited with today's because there's treats and snacks and all kinds of things so today we're gonna get started as soon as we get some friends but a couple little things that i wanted to ask of you um i am looking for a resource for books because hi Frida I'm looking for a resource for books because I have been hi Alexis I have been using my own library for our books for story time and I'm going to rapidly go through them by next week I'll probably be at the end of what I have that um, are picture books so I need a good resource and I tried epic and I think I think, I think, I think, I think, the thing with Epic is that most of the books on there, it's a really great resource for you guys if you would like to check it out. It's uh, it's an app, it's called Epic, E-P-I-C. But the thing about it is a lot of the books, the ones that I would like to choose, they're already being read by somebody else. And I wanna be able to read those to you. So I'm looking for picture books that I can download onto my tablet and then read for you guys. So if you have any suggestions of a great website where I could do that or a great app where I could do that, that would be fantastic. And I will take all of your suggestions. Okay, well, let's get going, shall we? Let's say hello. And let me know if you're out there so I can say hello to you because I've got Frida and I've got Alexis and I want to know who else is out there. So let's wave hello, everybody. Hello, how are you? Oh, hello. Hi, Patty. seeing people's names come up and stuff like that so I know it's a long process for me to get it into my head but you know ah, I'm so excited to see you guys all here and I want to say hello when you come so make sure you write your names over there I see that we've got Patty's here hi Patty and Frida and Alexis of course are here and I don't know if Danny is maybe Danny here and Jen but I want to say hi if you are and of course Helen if you're here so Let's get started. As I told you, all of the stories today are gonna to be about food or eating, which is one of my favorite things to do. Okay, so this one is called Six Dinner Sid. Now, I wanna tell you something interesting. See this little kitty on here? His name is Sid. 
We have a cat at my warehouse, and his name is Cece. Now, Cece comes every single day and has a meal with us. But after I read you the story, I'm going to tell you something else about Cece. So this is called Six Dinner Sid, and it's by Inga Moore. Six Dinner Sid. Mmm, there's Sid. Sid's very, very physical. Six Dinner Sid by Inga Moore. Sid lived at number one Aristotle Street. Mm, isn't that a pretty little house? Reminds me kind of of New York or Philadelphia. He also lived at number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. <laughs> Sid lived in six houses so that he could have six dinners. Every night he would slip out of number one where he might have had chicken into number two for fish, onto number three for lamb and liver at number four, fish again at number five and ending at number six with beef and kidney stew. <laughs> Sid likes his dinners. Since the neighbors did not talk to each other on Aristotle Street, they did not know what Sid was up to, and they all believed the cat they fed was theirs and theirs alone. But Sid had to work hard for his dinners. It wasn't easy being six people's pet. He had six different names to remember and six different ways to behave. When he was being Scaramouche, he had to put on swanky airs. As Bob, he had a job. Ooh, he had to catch those little mice, see that? He was naughty as mischief and silly as Sally. And as Sooty, he smooched. But as Schwartz, he had to be rough and tough. My goodness, that's a lot to remember for a cat. Not a lot, it's a lot for me to remember. Could you imagine being a cat and having to remember all that? All this work sometimes wore Sid out, but he didn't care, as long as he had his six dinners. And besides, he liked being scratched in six different places. <laughs> Look, he looks very happy, doesn't he? And sleeping in six different beds. Wow, look at all those different beds. In fact, life on Aristotle Street was just about perfect for Sid until, mm, look at those pretty flowers. Sid looks very happy, doesn't he? One cold, damp day, he caught a nasty cough. The next thing he knew, he was being taken to the vet. Poor Sid. He was not taken once. Not twice, but six different times. He went with six different people in six different ways. Oh, goodness, poor Sid. The vet said Sid's cough wasn't nearly as nasty as it sounded, but to be on the safe side, he should have a spoonful of medicine. Of course, Sid didn't have just one spoonful. He had six. Oh dear. By the time he gets to the end, Sid does not look very happy, does he? Look, he does not look happy right here. Now. One black cat does look very much like another, but nobody, not even a busy vet, could see the same cat six times without becoming suspicious. Sure enough, when he checked his appointment book, the vet found six cats with a cough, all living on Aristotle Street. So he called the owners at once. Here's all the owners getting the phone call. And oh dear, Sid was in trouble. When they discovered that he, what he had been up to, Sid's owners said that he had no right eating so many dinners. <gasps> Look at poor Sid's face. 
Oh dear, they don't look happy, do they? Sid, look at, Sid looks like he's saying, uh-oh, been caught out. They said in the future, they would make sure that he only had one dinner a day. Uh-oh, does Sid look happy? I don't think so. Sid looks a little annoyed with just one meal. Ah, but Sid was a six dinner a day cat. And so he went to live at number one Pythagoras place. He also went to live at number two, number three, number four, number five, and number six. But unlike Aristotle Street, the people who lived in Pythagoras Place talked to their neighbors. And so right from the start, everyone knew what Sid was up to. And because everyone knew, nobody minded. So there you have it. Sid got his six dinners after all. So now, as I was telling you about Cece, the cat who lives uh, near my warehouse, she never comes in, she only stays outside, but Cece is a six dinner Cece because she goes from one place to the next asking for meals. And all of us in a row, in my warehouse row, Everybody puts food out for her. And then next to us are these food truck places and they put food out for her. And we also discovered this little hideaway place where somebody is feeding cats and she goes over there. So she might be more like a 10, 11, 12 dinner cat. Anyway, I love six dinner Sid and I love Cece. So I love 12 dinner Cece as well. Well, let's sing a song about a cat. And it goes like this. I had a cat and my cat loved me. I fed my cat under yonder tree. Cat went fiddly dee, fiddly dee. Now, if you want to, when I say fiddly dee, you can pretend that you are playing a fiddle. And you can go fiddly dee, fiddly dee. Here we go. I had a cat and my cat loved me. I fed my cat under yonder tree. Cat went eating something under a tree. Sounds like a lot of animals to feed under one tree, doesn't it? Sounds like a barnyard under a tree. But wouldn't that be fun? So if you didn't hear me earlier, I've been asking for other people's books. So, you know, if you would like to share a story that you really love, that you would like me to read at story time, please make sure you put it in the comments. And then also, if anybody has any suggestions for great apps where I can download books that I can share with you guys, that would be great because the libraries are all closed, sadly. And I'm going to be running out of books soon, so I'd like to find a great app where I could get new books for you because I love reading books and I love reading new stories, including 
Hi, Pizza Man, which is our next story. Hi, Pizza Man. This is by Virginia Walter with pictures by Ponder Gondel. Hi, Pizza Man. Mama. I'm hungry. Oh, I know you're hungry, Vivian, and it's so hard to wait for the pizza man to come, but he'll be here soon. What will you say when the doorbell rings and we open the door? Hi, pizza man! Oh, well, what if it's not a pizza man? What if it's a pizza woman? Then, what would you say? Hi, pizza woman! Let's check out the pizza woman, shall we? Oh, wait, get her in the right way. There she is. Ah, she's pretty fabulous, isn't she? I love that she still has her baseball cap on. But what if it's not a pizza woman? What if it's a pizza kitty? Then what would you say? Mm, meow, meow, pizza kitty. Now, what if it's not a pizza kitty? What if it's a pizza dog? Then what would you say? <gasps> woof, woof, pizza dog. Oh, wait, doggy, get in there. I want you to see that good picture of that doggy. There he is. But what if it's not a pizza dog? What if it's a pizza duck? Then what would you say? What would you say? Mm. Let's see. <gasps> quack, quack, pizza duck. Oop. I want to show you that picture. <laughs> I love his turban. But what if it's not a pizza duck? What if it's a pizza cow? Then what would you say? What would you say? I would not say nay nay. Would you say nay nay? <gasps> no, we'd say moo. Pizza cow. But what if it's not a pizza cow? What if it's a pizza snake? Then what would you say? <gasps> pizza snake. He's very fancy. Look at all those bow ties. But what if it's not a pizza snake? What if it's a pizza dinosaur? Then what would you say? <laughs> Pizza dinosaur! Ring, ring. Somebody's at the door. Do you think it might be the pizza dinosaur? Pizza cow. I'm hoping it's the pizza duck. Oh. Who is it? It's the pizza man! Hi, pizza man! Looks like they got pepperoni pizza. My personal favorite. Well, speaking of pizza, I thought that it would be fun to do the pizza song. So the pizza song is a call and response, which means I'm gonna sing and then you sing, and I'll help you out with that, of course. Um, also, just to let you know, one of the viewers said, Sophie, you need to tell everybody that you have a website, and I do. I have a website, www.sophie-world.com. And there you can link to our YouTube page where we have like 750 YouTube videos on crafts and games and songs and stories and all kinds of fun stuff. So if you haven't already, check out sophie-world.com. So it's sophie, S-O-P-H-I-E, dash world.com. Okie dokie. Well, let's sing a song about a pizza. It goes like this. And you could do that too. Oh, I am a pizza. I am a pizza with extra cheese, with extra cheese from tomatoes, from tomatoes, saucy squeezed, saucy squeezed, onions and peppers, onions and peppers, oregano, oregano. I am a pizza ready to go. Phony baloney, phony baloney, I 
am a pizza, I am a pizza. Order by phone, order by phone. I am a pizza. Please take me home. Oh, oh. I am a pizza, I am a pizza. Peppers on the top, peppers on the top. Move from the oven, move from the oven. Into the box, into the box. Into the car, into the car, upside down, upside down. I am a pizza. Splat on the ground. <laughs> I was a pizza. I was a pizza. I was the best. I was the best. I was a pizza. Now I'm a mess. <laughs> Ever had a pizza fall on the ground? It's still good. Just flip it over. Pull all the cheese and all the good stuff off the top. It might stick a little bit, but... Use a scraper. You'll get it all off. Don't throw that pizza away. Eat it. All right. So last story for the day is called Green Eggs and Ham. It's by a famous, famous writer called Dr. Seuss. Green Eggs and Ham. Green Eggs and Ham by Dr. Seuss. I am... Sam. Whoop. Hmm. Sam, I am. Ugh. That Sam I am. That Sam I am. I do not like that Sam I am. Do you like green eggs and ham? I do not like them, Sam I am. I do not like green eggs and ham. Would you like them here or there? I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. Would you like them in a house? Would you like them with a mouse? I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam. I am. Would you eat them in a box? Would you eat them with a fox? Oops, let me show you. Boop, gotta see that fox in the box. Not in a box, not with a fox, not in a house, not with a mouse. I would not eat them here or there. I would not eat them anywhere. I would not eat green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. What you could you in a car? Eat them, eat them, here they are. I would not, could not in a car. You may like them, you will see. You may like them in a tree. He's very persistent, Sam. I would not, could not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I do not like them with a fox. I do not like them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them. Sam, I am. A train, a train, a train, a train. Could you, would you, on a train? Not on a train, not in a tree, not in a car, Sam, let me be. I would not, could not, in a box. I would not, would not, with the fox. I will not eat them with a mouse. I will not eat them in a house. I will not eat them here or there. I will not eat them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Say, in the dark, here in the dark, would you, could you in the dark? 
I would not, could not in the dark. Would you, could you in the rain? I would not, could not in the rain, not in the dark, not on a train, not in a car, not in a tree. I do not like them, Sam, you see. Not in a house, not in a box, not with a mouse, not with a fox. I will not eat them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. You do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam, I am. Could you, would you with a goat? I would not, could not with a goat. Would you, could you on a boat? I could not, would not on a boat. I will not, will not with a goat. I will not eat them in the rain. I will not eat them on a train, not in the dark, not in a tree, not in a car. You let me be. I do not like them in a box. I will not eat them with a fox. I will not eat them in a house. I do not like them with a mouse. I do not like them here or there. I do not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not want them, Sam, <sighs> You do not like them, so you say. Try them. Try them, and you may. Try them, and you may, I say. Sam, if you will let me be, I will try them. You will see. Oh, he doesn't look very happy, does he? Hmm. Say, I, I like green eggs and ham. I do. I like them, Sam, I am. And I would eat them in a boat. And I would eat them with a goat. Oop, let me show you a picture. Sorry. Got so excited. And I will eat them in the rain and in the dark and on a train and in a car and in a tree. They are so good, so good, you see. So I will eat them in a box and I will eat them with a fox and I will eat them in a house and I will eat them with a mouse. And I will eat them here and there. Say, I will eat them everywhere. I do so like green eggs and ham. Thank you. Thank you, Sam. I am. Well, there you have it. See, sometimes something might look icky, but it tastes really good. And you will never know unless you try it, right? I mean, sometimes it's scary trying new things, but hey, Sometimes it turns out to be your favorite food. So give it a try. All right, you guys, it's time to say goodbye. So let's wave goodbye. Ready? Now it's time to say goodbye, say goodbye, say goodbye. So remember, I'll be here again tomorrow at 9.30, so tune in for more stories. But before we go, let's give ourselves a big hug. One hand crosses, one hand crosses. Close your eyes and squeeze really tight. And that's me giving you a hug. Bye-bye, everybody. Have a great day, and I'll see you tomorrow.